Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Jim Kimber here. Uh, got a quick little blurb. I read something in the business section of the paper today about the death of some major retailers and look at what's happening to the future of retailing. So if you're in retail or you know people in retail, stay tuned. I've got a quick couple of things I'm going to discuss and I'll get right back with you in just a minute, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for coming back with me. I was reading an article today in the business section of the paper and it was basically talking about the, the slow demise of some uh, large retailers out there and closing of other retail locations here in Michigan. And it's a problem that's affecting the whole um, United States right now is that as people make a shift to doing more purchasing online, more purchasing from companies like Amazon and and more purchasing of their products and services through you know direct sales companies the the retail stores and the huge conglomerates that are out there are feeling the squeeze and they're having a hard time making profits I mean there's been some pretty major bankruptcies in the last few years for some really really huge uh, companies out there I don't want to go into listing names or anything like that if you've had your ear down on the business world you'll know that there's quite a few of them that have gone through some major problems well, how does this apply to what I'm talking about typically on my blogs? Well, how it applies is this. If you're in retail, or you're in management, or you're in the situation where you're working for one of these companies, or have been working for one of these companies for a very long period of time, um, you might want to start thinking outside the box before major closures start happening even more. And how I mean that is you might want to take a longer look at something like affiliate marketing or network marketing or direct sales just to supplement your income. Now, if you get involved in a program that's a good fit for you and you start generating two, three, four, five hundred dollars extra a month and you start putting that away and you start building your skills and your your leadership and your capabilities and and um, things like that over the next period of time, part time where it doesn't affect what you're doing regularly for your 40 hour week or 45 or 50 hour week job, um, you're going to be in a better position should something like that happen to you. I mean, we've had several retail locations closed down here in Michigan. They put out, put out of work 50, 100 people and you know, now they're going to hit the unemployment lines. Whereas if they had started a couple of years ago and, and built a uh, secondary income on the side in a network marketing or direct sales or affiliate marketing program, they'd be sitting in a lot better situation right now. So the, the, the world is changing, much like it changed back in the day when franchising came about, and it's going more and more towards online and direct sales. So if you're out there and you're considering the fact that you might get downsized at some point in time, you may want to look into direct sales. And you don't have to look into it directly with me or, or anybody else for that matter. You probably know somebody that's in direct sales and you can do some digging around on the internet and find some companies that may resonate with you and go from there. Anyways, that's my tip for, for today, guys. Uh, just wanted to cover that and I hope you got value from it. If you did... Um, follow me on Facebook at Coach Jim K. Comment below, subscribe to me up here on the left. And as always, guys, my wish is to help you become more successful in your business. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Hey guys, if you want to know more about what I'm doing, connect with me today and remember, my wish is to help you become more successful in your business.